so I I enjoyed this episode. I thought it was really good. Um, oops. Uh, I, I'm still trying to figure out if there was supposed to be like an alternate universe thing or if Don Yellow basically lost her powers to become a manga artist and then, and then the other girl just gets swapped right in. I don't know. It's, it's kind of confusing, um, that part, but essentially they dive right into this right at the start, even before the, uh, intro plays. You see her, uh, signing autographs, um, going to award ceremonies for her, uh, I believe it was supposed to be a, a sequel to her first manga, I believe is what it was. And they, they, I mean, they're going all into this and she's kind of talking like, hey, like, this is how it used to be. This is how it is now. And then the intro hits and then we find out exactly what happened. Um, Kaito told her because, and again, I don't, I don't fully understand. I feel like they could have gone a different way with it. But Kaito basically says, because you helped Don Red get his strength back, your points drastically went up. Now, I think they could have, I mean, I guess it wouldn't make sense for the episode, but I think they could have just had the points decrease because she helped him because he only had 299 of those um, dope all thing. Again, I, still, I, I we talked about it last week, but I, don't, I can't pronounce it. I'm not going to pronounce it. Um, but I, I think they should have had something where it decreases because... She was basically the 300th dough ball or the replacement for it. But they said it increases by a lot. So she had, it was like 10 rows of the little uh, wish dots. And she doesn't hesitate. She goes, yeah, you know, give me that life. I, I want I want my life uh, to be better. Um, now we find out she doesn't lose her memories at all. Um, the only thing that happens is she, again, gets replaced. But again, it's this weird thing where... I feel like you could say it's an. She goes to an alternate universe where she has always been uh, the manga artist, but again, she doesn't lose her memory. So um, I, I don't know. It, 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 they just and then they don't explain it because she, she hops right back in at the end. Uh, well, I'm kind of jumping ahead, but uh, they, they don't explain it well. Um, we don't even know if uh, I think it was it Maria, I believe was the girl's name that replaces uh, her as Don Yellow. Uh, but basically she, uh, Maria's, uh, kind of holds her hand and kind of slips in a, uh, a number. And at first I thought, oh, she's, <laughs> she's getting this girl's number. She's going to get guy's number. Um, she, she was going on these dates and whatnot, um, trying to meet this guy's, uh, he keeps saying mommy, but then he's like, you know, I gotta, I gotta be more formal. I gotta say mom. Um, and so <laughs> she's, she's, you know, I guess she doesn't remember, uh, having to go on these dates or anything uh because again she just kind of just dropped in into this alternate world I, I i don't know it's it's just it's so weird um so then you know uh maria i'm gonna say maria it might not I, i'll put it up on screen um but i believe it was maria or maria or something like that uh kind of starts following her around and uh we see they, they do this really weird, the monster of the week is introduced very strangely because we clearly see the person that uh, is supposed to be the monster and he's getting uh, his, he gets his hand signed, or his uh, part, top, top bottom, whatever. He gets his hand signed essentially um, by this manga artist. And then you see, you get like a zoomed out angle from, you know, if you're peering behind a tree and whatnot. Uh, and we see the guy there. But then we find out like five minutes later that he was the monster. But yet we're having this like out of body experience of the monster watching on. I don't know. That's, I enjoy the episode, but there's a lot of like weird plot holes in it that I just don't know how to defend it. But it's a good episode. I enjoy the episode. Um, and again, you know, the, the second half gets better, but it's just this weird inconsistencies within it. Just, I, I don't like. Um, so then, you know, the, the monster absorbs the manga artist. Uh, then we see the uh, Maria chasing Don Yellow. Um, and she runs into the guy. <laughs> and the guy pulls her... They, they kind of hide for a minute. Uh, and then 
Uh, he's like, oh, I, I didn't think that, you know, the, another world-famous manga artist would be asking for my help. He turns right into the monster. <laughs> and, and then she she kind of gets away, and then we find out that, again, the Maria is Don Yellow now. But they don't explain if she is going to remember this. Like, it, it's just, again, there's just so many weird things in here that just don't make a lot of sense. But the overall episode is very fun. I'm going to keep saying that. It's weird, but I enjoy the episode a lot. This is uh, one of the more enjoyable episodes. It's just there's so many, God, just weird things in it. So she transforms, um, and then, you know, our Danielle is watching like, okay, so, you know, she's prettier than me. She, <laughs> she goes and sucks up to Don Red, who Don Red it, this is, again, where it feels like an alternate universe because he's more laid back. He's not laughing uh, hysterically. Um, they're more of a joint team all kind of working together. Uh, it's just, again, that's where it feels like it could be an alternate universe, but there's parts where it's like they just kind of swapped positions, uh, Maria and then Don Yellow, just kind of swapped positions in life, and that's that. And there's, again, but the, it's just so weird. Um, but Don Red is just so calm. He's like, okay, well, you guys can come fight with me, even though half the team was already fighting, um, when Maria was, you know, sucking up to him, and, you know, like, what, what can I do for you, sir? Um, <laughs> uh, so they fight, Monster gets away, uh, then we have our Don Yellow say, hey, I want to follow you around, you're Don Yellow, I want to, you know, see what you do, and she basically, she... <laughs> She goes around, she's cleaning Don Blue's house, uh, she's making um, lunches for uh, Don Red and everyone at the Postal Delivery Service. Uh, we don't see Don Pink or Don Black at all, except when they're transformed for fighting. Um, but they're not in this episode in their human form at all. But I'm sure she's probably doing stuff for them too. Um, she might even be helping Don Black like hide away <laughs> from the police or something. I don't know, that's just kind of headcanon. Um, but you know, she kind of follows him around. Uh, follows her around, and then uh, they go to this restaurant alone, and I I enjoyed the scene a lot. I think the follow-up scene where they're talking about it a lot. Um, but we see uh, Maria stand up with a knife, and she goes over this. It was a crazy good picture, and I'm sure they probably you know edit it, and then we we get we'll get another we get another type of picture uh, at the end, which is really cool too. But uh, it's basically this boy jumping in a puddle and then above them at the it's like a very like wide so the boys down here and then you have a rainbow up here a uh, very cool shot i'll put a picture up um two of it and she stabs the picture uh with the knife and says you know they basically took my picture plagiarized it and you know yada yada kind of how like the reverse of don yellow where everyone blames her for plagiarizing now she's kind of blaming you know, uh, I think it was like Sam something or whatever was the name on the picture. She's kind of blaming everyone else for plagiarizing her. Um, and so we get this follow-up scene where they're sitting outside uh, on these steps uh, by the by a lake. And she's kind of talking like, hey, like before I became a Don, uh, Don brother, my job essentially was, you know, taking pictures and whatnot. And uh, she says a really interesting line which comes in later. And she says, you know, I've finally given up on, you know, my photography job. Uh, it's not true. We find out later on. But, um, and you just kind of sit there. And then, <laughs> and then that idiot guy comes along and says, hey, you're supposed to come meet my mommy. Uh, I mean, mom. <laughs> so she starts dragging away. And guess what? Monster of the Week is back. Um, and, you know, he he bolts he's just like you know what screw you <laughs> everyone every man for themselves and she, he just goes bolting away um and then uh we get don our don yellow talking to uh the monster of the week saying hey you know why are you doing this you know don't steal other people's uh abilities um just to make your manga better and you know you get that whole kind of hero speech type of thing and then we get a fight scene here, and again, I enjoyed it, and uh, start the fight, Every everyone else kind of, you know, pops back up, again, Don Red is not laughing, he's, <laughs> he's so chill in this, 
I, I just, it's so weird to see him so chill versus, you know, how he normally is in every other episode. Um, but she's fighting. Uh, we get one of the evil, uh, or the evil white ranger, the, the female, um, comes in and then Don Red goes and fights her. And then Don Yellow's kind of forced, well, not forced, but like she's left alone to fight the main, uh, boss or the main monster of the week. And she freezes up because she realized, do I really want to be a Don brother? You know, I, and she's still in love with photography. She still wants to do it. And <laughs> we get this great scene of our Don Yellow realizing, hey, like, sure, I, I wanted my life to, you know, go back to this manga. Uh, you know, all, all the benefits of being a manga artist and whatnot. And then we kind of see her kind of grow up and realize, like, hey, if I'm not Don Yellow, this girl is not going to do her photography. She's, you know, kind of still battling that demon as to, you know, what does she want to be? And she goes running off to Kaito, um, which kind of skipped over it, but there was a, like, a second scene where they're in the cafe before, and uh, she, she pulls him down and says, hey, do you remember me? And he just kind of goes... Huh? <laughs> it walks away. <laughs> and then um, we find out, which, again, I, it's weird, but Kaito recognized her, and I, I, I don't know. There's, <laughs> it's, it's Again, it's weird, but it's fun. <laughs> um, and so, she, you know, she, she's like, hey, I want, I want to be a Don brother again. Um, I want to, you know, give her, 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 give the lady her life back. Um, you know, I, I'm willing to take the sacrifice for other people's uh, well-beings uh, or well-being. And so Kaito's like, okay, presses some buttons. And we find out she has no points left at all after she, again, she had like 10 rows or something. Uh, and it's not, you know, like five, six dots per row. This was like eight or nine, maybe 10 dots per row. Uh, and just all gone after that one wish, uh, which I don't get how Don Pink, maybe because it was a smaller wish versus, you know, this is a kind of a, life altering changing wish i guess that kind of makes sense as to why don pink's wish didn't have, uh, lose as many um but she pops back up already transformed she's holding this uh spike sword i, I don't know what the thing is called but it, i'll put a picture up it's like a spike sword thing um but then needles can come unattached and go firing at the monster and whatnot um and then suddenly she's uh, has the her version of the Robotero, I believe is what they're called. Um, so she transforms into that. And <laughs> then we get a Don Red, classic Don Red. Um, <laughs> goes, you know, someone's finally joined the festival. Stop stealing the spotlight. <laughs> I, I, I enjoy art, the original Don Red, more than this uh, laid back one. So I'm happy we got this uh, original one back. Uh, <laughs> he says before, too, when she pops up, because um, she, she announces herself as, Hey, I'm, I've arrived on the battlefield. Don Red goes, Why? Why would you do that mid battle? <laughs> It's, it's it's enjoyable. This uh, I'm I'm really enjoying this series a lot more. I it started out I did not care too much about the intro episodes, uh, but now that we're past that, I mean this series, in my opinion, I I've enjoyed a lot more than what I thought I would. Um, so we get her robot to form. Uh, then the rest of them, we see all of them have it. I don't know where they got the uh. Little uh, discs, whatever they're called, little gears or whatever. They just kind of have them. <laughs> what you get is another plot hole. Um, it would have made sense if maybe she returns back to her body as a or as a Don brother. And then, you know, you just have a, a light, an orb light just right in front of her. And she kind of grabs it. And it's like, okay, well, here's the gear. There you go. That's that's explained enough. But they don't do that. She, <laughs> she has the gear. Everyone else has the gear. They all transform. Um, wolf, or the wolf dog thing transforms into an actual wolf uh we get a cgi what well, that's cgi uh we get a cgi i think it was a phoenix i i want to say it was a phoenix is what don red trans or don red don pink transformed into obviously we saw don red's transformation last episode uh and then we get uh the gorilla 
uh, suit kind of gets like mechanized almost where uh, basically it's it's a power up is what they all are um, but this like it's more buffier stronger and whatnot um, for Don blue so I, I'm enjoying this we're what what is this episode 9 or episode 10 and we already have a power up form I'm totally okay with this. Uh, again, they don't explain how they got it. They didn't really explain it how Don Red got it last episode, but they have them. We <laughs> I like the designs of them. Um, I like that we actually get an actual wolf for the actual... Uh, again, he looked like a dog or whatever. And now he's an actual wolf, so now it makes sense. Um, so, you know, I'm just... I'm enjoying this a lot more. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they win the fight, and... Yeah, that's, I mean, that's really about it uh, after that. I mean, they, they they have this one scene again where it's everything's back to normal and all. Uh, you know, the people around her are calling her uh, plagiarist. Um, and, then, and then she points out a rainbow and everyone freezes and looks at the rainbow. And that's basically how the episode ends. Um, next week we're getting a, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's more so focused on Don Black again. Um... There was, like, a lot in that trailer for next week. Uh, I don't know if I can explain it all, because there's just so much. Um, but it, it assumes it's going to be kind of like a Don Black-based episode. Um, but I am all for... I, if they want to, you know, rotate and kind of keep Don Red out of the main uh, main protagonist circle for now, and you have, you know... Again, I enjoy Don Yellow being the main protagonist here. Uh, again, Don Black... We don't see him a lot, so I mean, you can literally do any story you want because he's not in in his human form. He's not with, you know, he's not at a packaging facility or he's not working at a cafe or his business or with his wife. Um, like he's on the run, and so you can literally do any story you want with that because we don't ever see him because you're not supposed to see him because he's trying to hide. <laughs> so I'm interested to see if they want to do more of that. Uh, um, I I mean, Don Blue. Uh, maybe if they can really get in a good episode, really focus on him, maybe I can become more invested in him. But I, I think of the five, I'm least invested in him uh, overall. Um, and, I mean, Don Pink, I, I think they've done Don Pink justice so far. Uh, he got his own episode. You know, you saw the serious side of Don Pink a couple episodes ago. Um, you know, again, if they want to kind of push Momotaro out of the – uh, protagonist circle for right now and you know get the other characters stronger which i talked about last week i said we need these other characters to get stronger and if, if they're finally going to do this i'm all for it so uh yeah I, i'm just all for not focusing on the red ranger um i i'm down for more don yellow stories uh hopefully eventually she you, you know can get a recognition towards the end of the series but if you want to keep going with these storylines uh, especially, I mean, again, I'm really enjoying Don Yellow as a character. Uh, she's the one I really enjoyed throughout the intro episodes the most. Um, but it's just, if you can raise Don Blue a little more, I think I would maybe be more invested in him. Because he's the least, like I said, the least one I'm invested in. Um, but, I, I mean, the rest, I'm just probably about equal. Uh, it's just, and then you know, Don Blue down here. Um, but, for now, like the video, share the video around, don't subscribe. Oh, what a weird episode. What a fun episode. Uh, make sure to watch it. Uh, again, there's some inconsistencies and plot holes, which I've been talking about all throughout this review, but very good episode. Peace.